Uh, hello,、uh, my name is Hiroki Kure from the University of Tokyo in Japan.、Uh, I want to talk about a new f o r t attack on your very much white signature scheme.、Uh, this is joint work with Yutaro Kiyomura, Tatsuya Nagasawa, and Tsuyoshi Takagi.、Uh, this is the outline of this talk.、Uh, first, I want to talk about f o r t attacks. Uh, physical attacks utilize physical ac- access to the cryptographic devices. Actually,、uh, when we re- write、uh, the balance of、uh, smart cards, the、uh, message from the ticket gate is,、uh, is encrypted、uh, to prevent、uh, illegal rewriting.、Uh, but in the case Uh, someone、uh, tried to increase the balance illegally, and、uh, the attacker can use proof or laser to access to the cryptographic devices. So, it is important to consider the security of crypt systems in the situation that the attacker can access to the, device, to the devices physically. Uh, there are some kinds of、uh, physical attacks、uh, like this, and in this talk, we deal with this fourth attack,、uh, which stores the device by voltage or light and g e n e r a t e errors, which lead to a security flare of the system.、Uh, next, I want to talk about UOV signature scheme. Uh, MPKC is a much wider public key crypt system、uh, constructed based on the difficulty of the M- MQ program, and this is one of candidates for post quantum crypt systems. And MPKC is mainly used for digital signature schemes. And this is the definition of the MQ program.、Uh, given F equals F1 to Fm in Fq x1 to xn to the m, with、uh, each component as the degree of each component Fi equals 2, and then find one solution a1 to an such that <laughs> Fa1 to an equals 0. And、uh, unbalanced oil and vinegar UOV is、uh, one of multi valuable signature schemes. UOV has essentially not been broken for about over 20 years, and Rainbow, which is a third round finalist of NIST PQC standardization project, is a variant of UOV.、Uh, the advantages of UOV are its small signature and its short execution time, and、uh, disadvantage is its large power key. And this is the key generation step of UOV signature scheme.、Uh, let n and m be two positive integers, and n is larger than m. And this n is the、uh, number of variables, and this m is the、uh, number of equations. First, we generate、uh, a central map f equals f1 to fm from fk to the n to fk to the m. And this F is an、uh, impartible quadratic map. And each component Fk is constructed like this. And the sum of alpha ijk xi xj from i equals 1 to n and j equals 1 to v, like this. And this v equals n minus m.、Uh, we, we show Uh, how to invert this central map f later. And、uh, in the next step,、uh, we choose a、uh, linear map t from fq to the n to fq to the n randomly, and finally、uh, generate a quadratic map p by composing this f and t. And this p is,、uh, is a public key, and f and t is、uh, the secret key. Like this. And by using these public and secret keys, and、uh, signature generation and verification can be performed like this. 
Now first, we choose a message M in FQ to the M. And then the uh, signature S is generated like this. Um, T inverse, F inverse, M. And verification is performed like by confirming M equals PS or not by using this public key P. And this is how to invert the central map F. First, in, first we fix um, the values of variables from x1 to xv uh, randomly. And by doing so, the each component fk of the central map F can be transformed like this. And this part it becomes a uh, constant and this part becomes a linear term in all variables from xv plus one to xn. And so in the second step, uh, we can solve a linear system, uh, resulting linear system in m variables from xv plus one to xn. Uh, finally, uh, we want to, I want to introduce um, the representation of public and secret keys of your way by using matrices. Uh, for each component fi of the central map f, uh, we can choose uh, take an uh, n times n matrix mfi like this, uh, fi x equals x1 to xn times mfi times x1 to xn. And here we can choose this mfi like this form whose uh, lower right sub matrix is a uh, zero matrix. Uh, m times m sub matrix is a zero matrix like this. Um, because um, this part corresponds to our uh, to coefficients of uh, quadratic terms in all variables from x v plus one to x n. And we can we can also take uh, m times m matrix M T uh, representing uh, a linear of T like this. And for each matrix MPI representing the public key PI, we can we have these equations uh, MPI equals MT transpose times MFI times MT like this uh, due to uh, this relationship. Uh, that's about uh, your version of your scheme. Uh, next time to talk about our proposed fault attack on your v signature scheme. Uh, before describing the details of our proposed attack, we I want to show the relationship between other fault attacks on UOV and its variants. Uh, there exist two types of fault attacks against UOV and its variants. Uh, one type is to cause a fault to change a coefficient of the secret key, and another type is uh, to cause a fault such that uh, random values used in computing F inverse are fixed to the same values. And this is, this figure shows the relationship. Uh, and uh, these two types of of the of fault attacks against UOV and its variant rainbow and LUOV. Uh, at 20, 2011, uh, Hashimoto et al. proposed a fault attack on against rainbow using a fault hosed on the secret key and also proposed a fault attack on UOV and its variants UOV, rainbow and LUOV using faults caused on random values like this. And at 2020, uh, Messator proposed a new attack on LUOV using fault on the secret key. And in this study, we pro propose a new fault attack on the plain UOV using fault caused on the secret key like this. Uh, and this page is about our attack model. Uh, we here mainly follow the model used in the attack proposed by Hashimoto et al. 
Uh, here, uh, we suppose that a one fourth change is one coefficient of the secret key f and t, and a coefficient of f and t changed by the fourth is randomly chosen. Uh, here, uh, the size of the central map f is larger than the, that of the linear map t, like this. So we can expect that the faults are caused on the central map f with high probability because uh, the location of, of the fault is randomly chosen. And, and the attacker cannot know the location of the faults and coefficient changed by the faults do not return to the original values even if new faults are injected. And this is the rough description of our proposed attack. Uh, in the first step, we recover some rows of the secret key T by utilizing faults caused on the central map F. Uh, like this figure, uh, if the if a port is caused on the central map F, then we recover two rows of T and cause another port on the secret key. And if the if a port is caused on the linear map T, then go to the step two. And in the step two, uh, we transform the public key P into a public key system P bar with fewer variables than the original system P. So we can uh, execute uh, existing attacks on UOV, UOV on this resulting system P bar more efficiently. Uh, next time I'll talk about the detail of the step one. In this step, we suppose that uh, the a fault is caused on the central map F, and F is changed into F prime uh, by the fault, and this alpha i j k coefficient alpha i j k, which is a coefficient of x i x j in polynomial F k, uh, is changed into alpha prime i j k. Uh, first. Uh, we randomly choose ML in FQM and uh, obtain a signature SL by using signing oracle with a 40 central map F prime like this. And in the third step, in the uh, we compute delta L like this, PSL minus ML. Then this resulting delta L uh, have the following structure. And delta L equals F T S L minus F prime T S L and this equals F minus F prime T S L. Then here this F minus F prime is can be uh, written like this uh, because uh, F prime is only is constant is obtained by only changing the coefficient alpha i j k from f. So the, the case element is only non-zero function and alpha i j k minus alpha prime i j k x i x j. So this equals uh, like this home alpha i j k minus alpha prime i j k TSLI, TSLJ, and here this TSLI is the IC element of TSL. Uh, so, and here uh, delta, the, the case element of delta L can be written like this uh, equals alpha IJK minus alpha prime IJK TSLI, TSLJ, and here let uh, this part be beta and this TSLI uh, can be written like this uh, by using uh, TIJ, which is a uh, IJ's element of uh, matrix MT representing the linear of T, and the sum of TIP SLP from P equals one to N. And so this can be this equals beta TI one SL one plus two plus T 
tinsln and times tj1sl1 plus to tjnsln. And this can be transformed like this. Beta times the sum of uh, SLP times SLQ times TIP TJQ plus TIQ TJP if P doesn't equal Q and uh, TIP TJP if P equals Q. And so in here, uh, the attacker knows these values delta LK and SLP SLQ uh, because the other, and because of the manipulations uh, in the last page. And so by regarding uh, these values TIP TJQ plus TIQ TJP and TIP TJP as variables YPQ and this equations this equation can be seen as a linear polynomial in variables YPQ. So by preparing uh, many sets of delta L and SL, uh, the attacker can solve a linear system in variables YPQ. And the, T, the i row and j row of T can be easily recovered from the solution of YPQ by using these properties. Uh, and this is a description of the first step. Uh, first, we call the new fault uh, to the secret KF and prepare uh, large n sets of delta L and delta L equals F minus F prime uh, TSL and uh, uh, a signature SL. And next, solve our linear system uh, like this and uh, delta LK equals the sum of SLP, SLQ, YPQ in the variables YPQ. And if we take the large N uh, as larger than n times n plus 1 over 2, then a solution will be uniquely determined with high probability. And finally, uh, obtain the i's and j's rows of uh, the linear, linear map t uh, from the solution ypq uh, obtained in the third step. And these manipulations are iterated until a new fault is caused on the linear map T, uh, and this is the description of the first step. And next time to talk about the step two, and we hear uh, step two uh, reducing the public key into a smaller system, and we here assume that uh, alpha rows of T and the linear map T are recovered in the step one, and first we transform the linear of t into a special form by using the information obtained in the first step and to in next uh, reduce the public key p into a smaller system and as i said before uh, this can be broken with smaller complexity than the original system and this is uh, this page is about the uh, transformation of t and if uh, this i throw t i1 to t i n uh, of mt is recovered in the first step. Uh, we here take uh, an n times n matrix t1 like this, um, whose first row is like this one 1 minus ti2 over ti1 to minus tin over ti1. Then my, by multiplying this t1 from the right side, the i row of TMT can be transformed like this, whose other element than the first element becomes zero like this uh, because of these equations. And then by iterating 
and this ma this manipulation for all the alpha recovered row vectors of recovered in the first step one uh, we can transform and matrix empty like this and here we suppose that uh, alpha uh, vectors the alpha vectors uh, obtained in the in step one is located like this and the first v prime rows and these m prime rows like this and then by multiplying um, t1 to t alpha from the right side uh, mt can be transformed like this and the other right elements and then the this left alpha elements become zero in each alpha rows uh, like this And we here reduce the public key system by using the transformation in the last page. Uh, here let t prime be t1 times to t alpha. And we here consider to take uh, the input of uh, the public key pi as uh, t prime times x1 to xn transpose like this. Then this equals x1 to xn times t prime transpose times mt transpose times mfi times mt. Uh, this part equals uh, the mpi representing uh, this pi uh, times t prime times x1 to xn transpose. And uh, this, uh, this equals x1 to xn times and uh, mt times t prime uh, which has uh, like this form uh, due to the last page and times fi times mt t, trans mt t prime uh, times x1 to xn and we, we here uh, suppose that uh, um, sub substituting uh, 0 to x1 to x alpha uh, to cancel uh, this non-zero part and by doing so uh, this equals x alpha plus 1 to xn and this uh, rectangular matrix whose which has uh, zero columns like this n times mfi times uh, like this uh, matrix uh, times x alpha plus 1 to xn by canceling uh, non zero part of mt t prime. And here, uh, uh, due to these zero block, this mfi, uh, the, this part of the central map mfi can be also cancelled. So this can be written like this form, uh, x alpha plus 1 to xn times um, like this square matrix and uh, this uh, non matrix uh, by uh, obtained by concatenating this part uh, like a small, like a smaller u of a central map polynomial and times this uh, square matrix and times x alpha plus 1 to xn. So as a result, we can use uh, the public key system into the U of public key in n minus L alpha variables. And here, uh, the number of vinegar variables is V minus V prime, and the number of all variables M M minus M prime. And this is our proposed. This is a description of our proposed attack. Finally, we show the, our results. Uh, existing, uh, we can perform existing key recovery attacks on the resulting smaller public key system with um, smaller complexity than the original system. And we performed uh, simulations for some parameters, uh, 100 bit security. 
and actually we confirmed that and the proposal that can reduce the given system into the system with only 90 bit security and with a probability of approximately 80 to 90 percent and also we, we also confirm that the proposed attack works even when the number of fault is limited uh, finally i want to conclude my talk uh, in this study we propose a new fault attack on uov signature scheme and this attack is the first fault attack on uov utilizing faults caused on the secret key uh, please note that a uh, naive countermeasure against uh, against our proposed attack will be to check whether the secret key is faulty or not before generating a signature. Uh, that's all. Thank you for listening.